I can say is you might have cannoli at a bakery or a restaurant or wherever, but they're not like the Acioli cannolis. <laughs> they're the best. What is a cannoli? It's an Italian dessert. They're flaky and they're crispy. I have to go back 40 years ago. <laughs> I was um, in my late 30s when my sister happened to see it in a magazine that was put out in the neighborhood by his first name was Bob and he collected recipes from all the neighbors in the, in the area, homemade recipes that they made and he printed a book and she got this out of a book. I'd never had them before, but she made them and invited us over to have some. And when I tasted them, I said, I've got to have the recipe for this. My mother made a different kind of dessert. They were born in Italy and they came here. And I'm surprised because her sister made those cannolis. And I don't know why my mother never did, but we never had them. Ever since then, uh, I have done this every year. It took me 11 hours to make 12 dozen cannoli shells. And now today with my grandchildren, my son and his wife, it just takes us three hours to make the 12 dozen. We do that every year at Christmas time. We play music while we're doing it and we have fun. Each one of us has a job to do. One of them is making the dough and then we put it through a machine, get it the size of a cannoli, like a pancake. They have rolls that we wrap them around, and one is greasing the rolls, and another one is putting them on. And my favorite part is where I fry them in oil to make sure that they're golden brown and not burnt. And you have to be very careful because you're using very hot oil. We enjoy each other's company and we enjoy being together making the shells. And then you have to make the cream pudding to put in them. And you really don't do that until you're ready to serve the cannoli. The ricotta cheese, uh, I like for lasagna or for baking layers of eggplant with meat sauce. I don't care for them in my cannoli because to me, it's more of a dessert to use a cream filling. It's according to your taste, what you like. You could fill them whatever you like. Maybe you like yogurt in them. I was giving them to all my neighbors in my own family. We have a tradition to get together at Christmas time, and when we get there, there's 32 people that celebrate Christmas time together. They were gone. Uh, 12 dozen were gone. It's memories. They remember their grandma from making these cannolis every year and how good they were and it's just a, a memory for them and they, they can't wait until I bring them every Christmas. And now that my son does it, he's going to carry on the tradition in our family to continue making those at Christmas time after I'm not here anymore. I've gotten a lot of compliments from making these cannolis and whoever has the cannolis, they say, oh boy, do you ever taste the Acioli cannolis? Because if you haven't, you better taste them because they're delicious.